Hey, what's up everyone? It's Steph from Steph Lee Films. As you can see, this is my wallet. And how I wish the topic for today's video is why is my cash always full? However, we are not referring to the cash and not cash. So in today's video, I will explain in detail everything regarding the cash. No, cash. In an A10 Mini Pro, ISO or Extreme. So without further ado, Let's dive right in. Okay, so in today's video, I will break it down into four sections, one of the most popular topics and problems that people face when streaming on the A10 Mini. Number one, what is a cache? Number two, why is your cache always full on the A10 Mini? Number three, what happens when your cache is full? And number four, how to prevent the cache from being full? Wow, that's quite a mouthful actually. Okay, so first up, what is cache? What is a cache? In computing terms, a cache is a hardware or software component that stores data so that future requests for that data can be served faster. In simple layman terms, it's something like a storage for data. So why do you need a cache? Okay, say for example, in a real life scenario, you go to the supermarket and you buy a lot of frozen food. So when you bring it home to cook, you realize that, oh, you can't cook all the frozen food that you bought. So you have a refrigerator, right? So you put the excess frozen food in the fridge and sometime later when you need to cook the food, you bring it out from the fridge and you cook. Simple, right? So back to the A10 Mini and my analogy on buying frozen food from the supermarket. Take a look at this simple illustration for a typical live stream setup. Assuming you already have all the basics set up, like streaming keys to your streaming platform, say for example, YouTube, which is what I use pretty much often, you have your computer connected to the A10 Mini switcher as well, and your camera is connected to the A10 Mini, and all of these are connected to the internet, either via Wi-Fi, LAN, or router. So you are ready to go live, and then you see your cache starting to fill up. 10%, 20%, 30%, and eventually it says full. So what's actually happening here? The reason is very simple. Your A10 Mini is not sending enough data to YouTube fast enough than it is receiving from the sources, and hence the spillover is filling up the cache. And when the cache is full, what happens to your live stream? It starts to lag, stutter, and have pauses every few seconds, making the live stream extremely unpleasant to watch. So now let me explain what is happening. Under the switcher tab, output, you can see that is an option for quality. This quality refers to the quality of your stream. So it ranges from streaming low to high and hyperdeck low to high. So this itself has a minimum bit rate to stream without any problems. I've tested this range myself and got some of these values. Quick disclaimer here, I'm not sure if this value stay true for all A10 mini switches or for different people in different parts of the world, but I've checked the XML files and the value shouldn't differ too much. But I need you to understand the concept here behind this cache thing. So take a look at these values. For quality of streaming medium, you need to have about 4 MBS of data and for a quality of hyperdeck high, you need to have about 24 megabytes per second of data. So once your setup is ready connected to the internet, you can test your internet speed by going to the website speedtest.net. So run the diagnostics to see what is your upload speed. Take note, it is the upload speed and not the download speed because you are uploading uh, images and data to the internet. So from where am I right now, my internet speed is about 30 megabytes per second, which means I can go to hyperdeck quality. But before you get all excited, two things you will want to take note of. It's something like a rule of thumb. First, do the speed test check only when you are about to go live. Because on location, the data speed changes and trust me, I have experienced that myself many, many times for live events. Same place, same router, but different internet speed within an hour's difference. For example, when I set it up, the internet speed is as such. Then when I'm about to go live, the internet speed changes. 
The second rule of thumb to take note of is always take half of the download speed that you have tested for. So for my example, if I tested for 30 megabytes per second, I should be looking to stream at a quality of 15 megabytes per second, which is actually hyperdeck low or medium rather than hyperdeck high. This will ensure that in unexpected cases where there is a huge data to be loaded or the internet speed drops, your stream won't be affected or at least your cache can help out with the sudden outage. So now with this concept very clear, you should know why your cache fills up, right? Let me explain to you and see if you're right on this. Okay, the actual reason is simply because whatever data is coming into the ATEM switcher is not being passed out to the internet. It's as simple as that. That is why your cash fills up. Another analogy is like if you eat a lot of food and your stomach starts to feel, you know, a little bit weird. And if you can find a toilet, fine, everything is all good. But if you can't find a toilet, the food and all of that starts to build up in your cash. Then of course, after a while, things go haywire. You know what I mean? Okay, back to our A10 Mini. The number one reason is, which I have explained in this video so far, is because you are streaming at a higher quality than what your data connection or internet speed can provide. Simple as that. Because if it's something else, the moment you push the on-air button, it will blink. It won't even go solid red or reach the stage where the cache starts filling up. So you need to know this information, then you know what is the problem. Of course, I mean, there are other reasons like I've seen in forums people suggesting to change cables, etc., or the connection between some of your uh, equipment is loose. But I mean, basically, if you know the underlying reason is that the data in the A10 mini switcher is not going out into the internet, the hardware stuff you should be looking at when troubleshooting would be those that may affect the internet connection. Probably the ethernet cables or the switcher itself and not unrelated stuff like the cameras or your spare laptop, you know what I mean. And an exclusive quick tip for you. Okay, the moment you see your cache starting to fill up, immediately drop the quality. So you need to keep your eyes on your uh, multi-view output to make sure that uh, once the, the cache starts filling up, do this emergency step. So how do you do that? On your ATEM software control panel, under switcher output, click off, then the drop down here and select a lower quality and quickly go back on air. Don't worry about your stream being cut off because this setting is local, meaning to say that it is within your setup. So if you do it fast enough, the live stream will have no effect. If not, the most your audience will see is the little circle in the middle and the loading screen, sort of something like that. The main button you should never press, never ever press in the middle of a live stream as on YouTube is this one that says end stream. If you click this, because it happened to me once during a live stream, so I know. So you have to keep a close watch. Again, I said, I've mentioned earlier, the multi view during your live stream, and you have to make this decision fast. The higher your cache in terms of percentage, the longer it takes for the off button to activate. And it's like the system just hangs there and like nothing is happening and it will make you nervous, trust me. It's not funny at all. Sometimes, sometimes the cache purges by itself, meaning it goes up and then when your internet speed gets better, the percentage starts to go down and then it becomes okay. Other times, it just goes up, 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 and hits full. This is literally when the shit hits the ceiling. So now you know the full concept behind the cache filling up. You are the pro now. So there you have it. The reason why your cache is always full or always tends to become full and how to solve that problem during your live stream. Thank you all for staying with me throughout this video. I know it's a little bit long, but I try to explain it as thoroughly as I can as always in all my videos. Because in simple, relatable terms, so you can grasp the basics and know how to troubleshoot problems when they occur, especially during nervous live stream events. Honestly, I've streamed hundreds of live streams events to date, and every live stream I still feel nervous, which is actually good because it keeps me on my toes and my brain is alert for that one to two hours. If you are complacent thinking that you've got everything covered, 
then you are in trouble. Before I end this video, I would like to say it really means a lot to me if you found any of the information I shared today useful and if you can give this video a like so I can continue to make such videos for you, giving me good encouragement. If not, feel free to leave them in the comments below so I know I can work on my future video content to bring you something that you like. If you want to learn more about photography and videography or get the latest updates from new products from Blackmagic Design or quick tips and tutorials like this episode, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And of course, do check out two of my other videos here since you are here. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.